Okay, Mevo. You can go ahead and fire both of them up. Thanks. Two, two, two. Okay, we're chasing Brian Hunt and Kane Terry. Kane Terry. Kane Terry. So Brian Hunt is the only person outstanding. Yeah, he's got a, at least a minute and a half. We're good there. How was the volume on that there? Pretty good? Okay. So on hold, it is off. Just waiting for a couple of anglers and we'll get proceedings underway. I think it was Brian Hunt was the the, the last one. He's back now. Fantastic. Just hang on. Yeah, we're going to take five. Thank you. Okay, it's uh, now uh, 2.30 and I'd like to welcome everyone from... Uh, all the anglers from ACT, New South Wales, and Victoria that made the journey. This is the uh, round at number seven of the 2017 Hobie Kayak Brim Series presented by Daiwa. This particular round is the Pro Lure round as a naming rights sponsor. Pro Lure is a new sponsor this year and it's good to have them on board. Um, they also gave us some extra lures to the competitors this morning. And during some of our live feeds, a lot of the guys were actually catching fish on some of the pro lures that we had. To make these available, Corp, Lawrence, Berkeley, Pro Lure, Rhino Rack, Power Pole, Strike Pro, TT Lures, Hubby Polarize, and also we have the uh, dealer support from Totally Immersed Water Sports. They're just in South Nara there, and, and obviously put a, a great spread on this afternoon. Anglers this weekend are fishing for Angler of the Year points, and they're also fishing for the Atomic Big Brim, um, which is the largest brim over the two-day period. It's a $100 prize. They're also fishing for cash and prizes. The top 10 in the end of the season, um, we're going to take head north and fish for Barramundi and Sudi Grunners in factory-supplied Pro Angler 17Ts. That's a new tandem kayak that we have this year. Also, the winner of Angle of the Year is going to get a trip to the United States to fish with an Aussie named Carl Jerkinson, who's currently an American Bass Pro fishing in the FLW Open event. In this round, we had a great turnout. We had 62 teams with 65 anglers, and uh, without question, we uh, very much thank the anglers' support. As you know, we have lots of different divisions in our series. Everyone here generally is fishing the open division, but of that we have the youth class, which is 16 to 21 years of age. We have three in that division. Women's have their own class. There's three in that. Masters, age 60 to 64. We've got three anglers. We also have first-time entries, and what I mean by that is people who've never fished a comp before. You pay no association fees, any brand of kayak you want, you can come, and come down to the water and experience the comps on through. Um, we also have a brand new division called the PA-17T. It's a Prangler 17. It's a two-person kayak, and we've got three in that division. Anglers today are chasing a four brim, and they must be 26 centimeters to the tip. That is uh, 10 over the state uh, minimum requirement. The weather today turned out very, very good. There was lots of doom and gloom if you watch the news, um, and it actually cleared up fairly well this morning. We had a very, very light drizzle at 7 o'clock when it started, and after that it was just almost picture-perfect uh, fishing, and it's, the sun's out. It's quite good. Um, we have two sessions, one on Saturday and one on Sunday. They're both going to start at 7 a.m., our first safe light, and the anglers have been split up into two groups. Key tags 1 to 30 are going to weigh in first at 2.30 on day 1. It'll be 2.45 on day 2. And likewise, we'll switch around on day 2. 
The Pre-Angler 17s will both take and finish at 2.30 on both days. This weekend, we have Jim Berry, Amy Berry, and Sue Fields on scoring. We greatly appreciate you guys taking the time to come down and, and give us a hand. So thank you, girls. And if scoring gives me the thumbs up, we'll do that one. Now, we've already weighed in two people, uh, Chris and Tamika. Um, and uh, let's have a look here. Tamika Purnell, I can't quite see the women. There it is. 2.46 is the leading bag. Chris Purnell is at 2.01 kilos. So we'll see how we go. Now, Richard Benson is up next. We uh, saw him on Facebook Live this morning about 7.50, and he had 15 casts, and he had four fish. Uh, scoring showing four shift again, and he needs 2.47 kilos to take the lead. You like our little ramp we put in here? Good. Thank you, sir. How are you? Good. A bit excited today. Got a lot of fish. Oh, they're not the best, but that's okay. Let's see what these are. Did you catch any more fish after we saw you? Yeah, heaps. Heaps of them. Okay. okay. Big ones. There you go. All right. You need 2.47 to take the lead. I don't think you're going to quite get there, but it's definitely going to put you up into second place. Did you want to weigh any of these for nah, Big Brim? Good. There's good. Very good to catch it. I've always said you can't win it on day one, but you certainly can lose it. You're going to need four fish to make sure you have no deficit going into day number two. Anthony Colslow, if I've got that right, he's shaking his head one way or the other. Scorn is showing me four fish. Don't think I saw you on the water day. You're probably hiding. How are you, Mighty? Hey, good, thanks. Good day in the water? Yeah, it was a good day. Um, Very nice fish. Yeah. Did you get these early? I, uh, yeah, got them early, and um, once the wind came up, there was a there was a flat I had my eye on, and um, quick window there, that's where I got that big one. What did you catch these on? Uh, got them on um, Pro Lure Prototype Blade, which is coming out soon. That so, sounds good. Yeah. Usually no one tells me what they caught them on day one. You need 2.47 kilos to take the lead gonna be a little bit short on that one 2.17 did you want to weigh one of these for big brim yeah give the give that uh, big one away here's the mic. deal I take the mic you take the bag that's how it works and I've left my bag down there by Jim can I have my bag for the big brim sorry you need 0.64 this could get you a hundred dollars thank you Jim perfect check him in nice fish all right, let's see if this is going to put you in the running for Big Brim. Yes, it is. 0.84 of the Basin's Finest. Well done. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. And just a reminder, anglers, you don't need the license check tomorrow or your life check it. You just come straight up and get the key tags. Richard Summerton is up next from Victoria. Made the journey across. Scoring the showing at four. You need 2.47 to take the lead. What do you think? I think uh, so. Should be there. I think so. <laughs> nice bag of fish, Richard. It's not too bad. And um, thanks for sharing us on uh, Facebook Live. We watched you fish for a while today. That was quite good. A little bit of swearing. A little bit of swearing, but we edited <laughs> that out. Right, here we go. Let's see where this is going to put you. 3.21. Well yeah. done. We're obviously going to weigh one of those? Yeah, I might give you one a go. There we go. There you go. Grab that. Need uh, 0.84 to knock off Anthony. I'm pretty confident that that's going to happen. Got a good lineup of people. That's a good sign that the fishery is doing well. It's a hundred dollar decision. That's a pretty fat one. We'll get one in there. Oh, zoom. Not. Let's we'll see how we go. 0.84 is what you're chasing. 8.7. There you go. That's good. Well done. 3.21. Awesome. Great to see the Basin doing well with a four fish bag. That's not too bad. In the youth division is Jack Gammy. Jack has been doing very well. He's won quite a few of these. There's been a battle going between yourselves and uh, Stephen Prike. How'd you get today? I did well. I just couldn't find the big ones. It's all right. Still, that's not bad. Yeah, hopefully it goes two. It's all right. Day one, you got four. You're going to get on the board. Let's see where that lands you into the uh, the top five or ten. 2.01 kilos. You tied Christopher Purnell in fifth place. Well done. 
We generally don't ask too many questions on day one, otherwise they're just going to lie to you anyway, so we'll just kind of keep it simple. Who we got next, Jimbo? Uh, Mick Coggins and Jason Lambert is up next. This is the uh, PA-17. We had three in the division. These guys are fishing for prizes and bragging rights, which is not going to happen today. He's shaking his I see three fish. Only three. Good day in the water. It wasn't too bad. That's all yeah, right. Quiet, small. I'm just going to measure this one. Yeah, sure. Just to get my eye in. If you just call that bag for a second. When you go from blacks to yellow, it uh, throws you a little bit the body lengths. Easy. Just making sure. It also makes you nervous for a bit. Good fun? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's They're great fun fishing, aren't they? Awesome yeah. fun. It is yeah, good. Yeah. All right, this is C. There's a battle for the PA-17 tees. Yeah, no. You're going to be leading after this. 1.07 kilos, first place so far in the PA-17s. Well done, boys. Carl Dubois, Sydney Latte Brigade. Four fish. We saw him early in the morning. He had... We, Okay, let's get some of the water out. Those four fish are going to come in at 1.83 kilos. Thank you. Well Pick done, mate. See you tomorrow. Bright and early. Nice sunny day tomorrow. Bit of a recap of where we're at. In tied for fifth is uh, Jack Gammy and Christopher Purnell. Fourth place is Richard Benson. Uh, third place at 2.17 is Anthony Kelso. And second place, Tamika Purnell, 2.46 in the women's division, also into the open. And Richard Summerton, 3.21 kilos for four fish. I'm just waiting for some more bags. See if we can get a little bit quicker turn around the bags down there, boys. Very busy uh, weekend on watching sport. We had Carl Jorkovson uh, live fishing in the United States. You had the ABT event up at the Manning, and you have our event here, so there's quite a bit of to keep you going. Michelle Carmody is next. Come on up, Michelle. Three fish. She's in the women's division. We've got three in that particular class. Can't believe the afternoon. It's turned out really nice. Hopefully the grounds will dry out here. I had to build a small runway to get people on stage. How are you, Michelle? Good, thanks, Steve. Good, good. Perfect. Three fish. Let's see what these do. All right. As good as Tamika. Not as good as Tamika. She is a very good bag today. Not too bad. 1.26 kilos. Well done. Yeah. Better luck tomorrow, and we'll see you bright and early. At 6 a.m. is registration. Briefing is at 6.30, and if everyone's ready, we can get away early on time. Lex Irwin's next. Queensland in the Masters Division. Made the journey. I forgot to mention Queensland in there. Four fish. Well done. There you go, mate. Here you go, Steve. Good, good. Excellent. It was a bit of a long, hard day, but anyway. It was uh, a nice day, though. Beautiful. It, was, uh, it could have been a lot worse. All right, let's see what this gets you. It's going to get you in the top ten anyway. 1.77 kilos. Thank Should you we... very much. Thank you. Perfect. Richard Summerton still leading. I see uh, Chris and Tamika from Totally Immersed Water Sports South there are dishing up some uh, beef and chicken curry to the, uh, the lads, the anglers that came through. Not too bad after a day fishing. Come on up, Michael Walker, New South Wales, four fish, quite a few full bags, which is fantastic. How are you, sir? Yeah, well, thanks. Good. Nice bag of fish. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. Yeah. Well, you need 3.22 to take the lead. What do you think? 
I think it's going to be close. He says to us, do we have a new leader? 3.22 to take the lead. No, close. 2.92. 2. 2. Not too bad. Did you want to weigh in these for Big Brent? What's the leading fish now? Leading fish is at 0.87. It, you can always hear. You grab the bag. I grab the mic. Pick the biggest fish you have. You're mad if you don't. That's a nice fish. There you go. Very good fish. Chasing 0.88 or better. Got it. 0.99. $100 decision. Puts you in the lead for the big brim over the two-day period. Well done. Thank you. Let's see if we can buzz through some of these, Jimbo. Matt Jorgensen's next. One fish. Making the journey. And we'll see if we can get Bob to turn some of those bags around down there as quickly as possible. How are you, Matty? Great day. Long day on the water? Yeah, long day. But it was a dry day on the water. Still a good day out it fishing. Was, it was actually not quite pleasant out there. All right, one fish going to come in at 0. .56. Well done. Thanks, Better luck man. tomorrow. Thanks. Forecast for fish tomorrow. That's all it takes. Another of the uh, PA-17 Ts. Cullen and Francis. Di Martina. Close. I nailed it. Well done. Three fish. You missed out on that one. When I saw you, you just landed it. That's three. You needed one more. How are you? Yeah, good. How are you? Is it good fun? Yeah, yeah it's it good. good it's, it's, is that the first time you've been on the PA-17? Yeah, it was. They're good, aren't they? They're so stable. Yeah, amazing. They're amazing. You didn't do any work today. I saw you in the back, and he's doing all the work. <laughs> all right, let's see we just land you in this new division. 1.29 kilos. Well done. Go down there and release them. Get some photos. See you tomorrow morning, bright and early. Chesney, come on up. How are you, sir? I'm good, sir. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad at all. <laughs> well done. Yeah, no problem. No good day on the water. Time, eh? Good day on <laughs> the water. I don't think you got 3.22, but you got a decent bag here. Let's have a look. Not too shabby at all. 2.46 kilos. Okay. That's going to put you in a tie for third place. Did you okay. want to weigh this for Big Brim? Oh, may as well. Might as well. You didn't the routine. You're chasing 0.99 is the fish you need now. That's, mm, I think he's a little bit light. Let's have a look. He is 0.82. Not too bad. That's a fourth largest brim we've caught today. Fantastic. Right, thank, you. thank you, sir. Who we got next? Danny Jobson, four fish. Needs 3.22 kilos to take the lead. How are you, sir? I'm good, Steve. Good day in the water? Yeah, it was good, mate. That's all right. No big ones, but that's still fun, mate. That's good fun. I really enjoy the basin. It's very nice. We get to sleep in our own beds from the tour that we do. Let's see where these are going to land you. 2.01 kilos. Awesome. Right. See you tomorrow, and then we'll talk a bit more about what you caught the fish on and where you caught them. Shane Hensey is next, showing one fish. How are you, sir? Very well, thank good, you. Good, good. There you go. One's better than none. None is what we call donuts, and donuts aren't good. Here we go. One fish is going to come in at 0.46 kilos. Thank you very much. Better luck tomorrow. Andrew Deese is next. One fish. I'm surprised that Andrew is one here. Very much, but it's fishing. I'm surprised too. I know. And I usually you think there's a handful of guys and I think the basin and you're one of those guys. Anyway, tomorrow's another day. That's it. Still good news, mate. It is good news. 0.55. I can still win. You can still win. I know you can. And another of the PA-17s, Daryl Head and Coben Rasker. Come on up, boys. Scoring, showing me four fish. This could be the leaders in the new PA 17T class. How are you, Mighty? Not too bad. That was good. Good day in the water? Yeah, it was nice. Lots of fun? You had to put up with him? 
Yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Who caught all the fish? Shared two each. Share each. Uh, you probably caught the biggest two. He did. He did. All right. Two kilos even for that four fish. Fantastic. There you go, boys. Thank you. Thank you. Cameron Starr is next from New South Wales. Scoring is showing me two. How do we go on the key tags on the second group? All good? Okay, a couple late penalties. There you go. How are you? Good to How are you? Good, mate. Let's have a look. Two fish are going to come in at 0.83 kilos. Well done. Just waiting for a few more bags coming up. I see Stephen Pryke. He had his four fish early on. Stephen is in the youth division. Straight on up, mate. There you go. Yep. He helped us out today on the uh, Facebook Live. How are you, sir? Good, thanks. Good, sir. Did you catch any more fish? Yeah, got a few more. I've managed to get a couple upgrades and, yeah, keep going. Now, you need 3.22. What do you reckon? I'm not sure, personally. This has got a little bit of weight to it. I'll see what it does. Oh, 2.64. Not bad. Did you want to weigh that fish in here? Nah, I'll be right. You sure? Okay. Yeah, I don't think that'll be quite that large. That's a nice fish. All right, thank you. Well done. Not too bad. Two, two, two. You, so far, he is leading. Uh, Stephen Pryke is 2.64 in the youth. Jack Gammy, 2.01, also in the youth. Michael Garrick is next. Come on up, guys. Straight on through. Two fish. Just watch the ramp area. It's better than the, that black stuff down there. How are you, buddy? Yeah, pretty good. How good. Are you? All right. Let's buzz through this. Two fish at 0 0.92 kilos. Thank you very much. Better luck tomorrow. Jason Dean is next. Scoring is showing a three. Had four today, mate. Huh? <laughs> yeah, well, as you know, I only had one, and after some very helpful advice, I turned that into two more, and then I lost the lure to a flathead, and then, oh. yeah. Oh. All right, here we go. You need to make up a bit tomorrow then, but you can still do it. 1.71 kilos, well done. Jonathan Chin from the ACT, four fish. We saw him in two or three different locations during the day. Turned out to be a really good cracker day, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a beautiful day. Nice. I was hoping that it would rain all day, but it didn't. Yeah. <laughs> all right. You need 3.22 to knock off, oh, I Richard. I think that will happen. You're not going to do that, but I think you've got a pretty good bag here. You do 2.59 kilos. That is going to put you up into fourth place. Thank you. Well done. A Victorian is leading. Richard Summerton, 3.21. New South Wales, Michael Walker, 2.92. Stephen Pryke, also in the U's, also from Victoria at 2.64. And just weighed in as Jonathan Chin, 2.59 from the ACT. And rounding up the top five is Chesney Fung at 2.46 kilos. Connor Barrett, four fish, well done. How was your day in the water? Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. It's all right. A bit slow to start off with. Okay. But yeah, come out all right in the end. Hey, Jimbo, can you just check something for me? Uh -huh. Just want to check that one fish. We have two tournament directors. I wasn't sure about that one. That's a tar one. Uh, yeah, rounded head. Tar one. Okay, we'll just take him out. Yeah, I wasn't sure about that. No, that's okay. We'll let scoring readjust it. Chasing Brim. It's okay. Right. They're hard to tell sometimes. He'll just readjust this into three fish, and then we'll do it. That hurts. Okay, here we go. Three fish. You'll be right. 1.68. Not too bad. 
You can still make up tomorrow. If you got four today, you can get four tomorrow. You want a big brimmage? Sure. It's Give it a go. A little swap. I mean, just yeah, yeah. You take that. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. It can't hurt. You can always weigh it, and you're chasing. Uh, I'm just doing it just to see how big it is. Put him in. Big Brim is going to come in at 0.82 kilos. There you go. Thank you. Next we have Scott Marcinkowski. Four fish, good. You need four on day one to have any hope at day two. How are you? Yeah, good. Not bad, not bad. Good day in the water? Yeah, yeah, fun day. Probably a dozen fish. That's good. All right, let's see if this is going to sneak into the top 10. It should. Well and truly, 2.23 kilos. It's going to put you into seventh place currently. Well done. Kevin Bose is next for fish again. He's been fishing fairly consistently. Always pulling some decent sized bags, and we trust it's the same here. How are you, sir? Yeah, good, thanks, Phil. Good. Not bad, not bad. Let's see if we can sneak you into the top 10. We've got three people tied in the top 10 already. Let's have a look. <clears throat> One, two point, one point nine nine kilos. You're just outside of it. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Well done. Jeff Alford is next from the ACT. He's made the journey up. Four fish. That'll make him happy. How are you, sir? Yeah, good, thanks. Good. Not bad, not bad. There you go. Yeah, change. <laughs> Beautiful day out there. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Very golden, these fish. They are, aren't they? I kind of know where you were then. Four fish, 1.90 kilos. Thanks. Thank you very much. Perfect. David Shanahan is next. Four fish from Victoria. How are you, Mighty? Good, thanks, Good Keith. to see you. Not too bad. Those are all brim. Get rid of some of the water. 2.23 kilos. Fantastic. <laughs> Perfect. See you tomorrow morning bright and early. Josh Clemis is next. How, how are you, mate? Four fish. You only had two when we saw you last. Yeah. So yeah, around the island? Hold. Around the island you go? Oh, uh, yeah. What are you ca f catching today? What, what are you throwing today? Uh, Five kilos. Not too bad. Going to put you, you kind of in a tie in there. 2.5. Put you into seventh place outright. Waiting for a few more bags. We might bring some more bags from the factory or something. There's an empty one. To a recap while we're getting some of the uh, fish released. In uh, seventh place, just went in as Joss Clemis at 2.45. Tied for fifth place on 2.46 kilos is Chesney Fung and Tamika Purnell. Um, fourth place is 2.59 kilos, Jonathan Chin. Third place, Stephen Pryke, 2.64. Second place, 2.9 at 2 kilos, Michael Walker. And still leading in 3.21 kilos, Richard Summerton from Victoria. Kane Terry is up next. And four fish, well done. Good to see you with another full bag again. Yeah. That's good. Nice bag of fish. Not too bad. You need 3.22. What are you reckon? No. no. That's going to put you up there, though. That's a nice fish in there for your kicker. Not too bad. 2.84 kilo is going to put you into 
third place. You want to wave for Big Brown? Uh, no. Nah. Okay. Done. Excellent. Excellent bag of fish for Kane. Brian Hunt is next. New South Wales for fish. Where's the back of the line at? Good. The lineup's way into the car park. How are you? Steve, not so bad. There you go. Very nice. Yeah, not bad. Okay, let's see what this puts you into. Everyone's kind of chasing that top 10 position on day one. 2.46 kilos. Well done, buddy. Nice, right, thanks. Cheers. Simon Morley is next. Four fish. That's a good start. Now i got to get you in the top 10. Nah, I don't think so. Not today. Hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Top 10, or you're looking at about that 2.23 kilos. Oh, or that so. top 10. Oh. You are 2.27 kilos. So in with, for, in now. With, for now. <laughs> for now. In with a chance. Paul Dunlop is next. Scoring is showing a four fish. Looks like a nice bag from here. How are you, sir? Very good, thank you. That's nice. Good. Very good. Going to be happy with that? I am. Lucky to get the fourth. No. Here we go. This is going to sneak you in. 2.31 kilos. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You want to take the big one? You want to weigh the big one? Always. I'll take the mic. You take the bag. We'll weigh these all day long. All right. You're chasing 0.99 to take off Big Brim. We've got it 1.03 kilos. Well done. It's a hundred dollar fish so far. And the first of the keggers. Warren Allen is next for fish. It's good to see some full bags again. No, you can't swap fish. You can't do an upgrade on the land. How are you, matey? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Not bad. That's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. It's yeah. a nice fish. Very good. All right. I don't think you can knock off Richard, but 2.79 kilos is going to put you into four. Do you want to weigh this one fish? I would if I could. Thank you. You can always weigh it. I'll take the mic. Take the bag. You're chasing 1.03 to knock Paul out of the lead. Don't think so. It's hard to say. It's close. Ooh, he's done it. 1.06. Well done. Awesome. You're not on his Christmas card list anymore. Uh, <laughs> Jason Reed is next. Four fish from Jason. I won't say you're fishing by the islands, okay? <laughs> How are you? Not too bad. Good. Ended up with that fourth one after you left. Really? Yep. Uh, sometimes the motors going by wakes them up. <laughs> so nice fish, very golden fish. That is a really nice fish. Here we go. 2.52. Did you want to weigh one of those? Yeah, big one. All right. Let's see here. Battle of the keggers. Very nice fish. All right, you need 1.06 to knock Warren off. 1.09. Well done. <laughs> Here we go. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. So we've got a 109, a 106, a 103, and a 0.99 in the big brim. I reckon you guys got a side bet going here. Well done. Byron Hill is next. I haven't seen Byron for a while. It's great to see him back. And Maddie and the young one is over there. Hello, Maddie. How are you, sir? Yeah, good, thanks. Fishing again? Yeah, it's good. It's nice, really good. Yeah. Nice pack of fish. <laughs> How's the nappy changing going? Yeah, it's, uh, I'm pretty good at it. Yeah. You're good at it. it is, do I believe him? <laughs> All right. Fair enough. All right. 
2.40 kilos. Thank Not you. too bad. It's going to put you up into 11th or 12th place so far. Well done. Trent Rogers, New South Wales is next. Another four bagger. Jeez, we could have gone five fish today, Jim. How are you, sir? Good. What do we got? That's nice. Oh, that's all right. That's okay. It's a good bag. There's a lot of people getting fish. Here we go. 1.87. Not too bad. Thank you. It puts you into the hunt for tomorrow. You need four on day one to stay into it. Where's the back of the line now? Still. It's a good sign. Lindsay, come on up. Now, Stephen got 2.64 kilos. Nowhere near it, he's saying. Nowhere near it. It's okay. You got four, and you need four on day one to really get in it into day number two. So four fish are going to come in at 1.60 kilos. Not too bad. We'll see you tomorrow morning bright and early. James Kilpatrick. He's a hobby dealer. It's Hunter Water Sports in Belmont. A great supporter of the series, as most of our dealers are. We greatly appreciate the effort they put in to um, keep everybody on the water. How are you, sir? I'm very good. You did finally catch those fish. I got the fourth uh, hour to go. An hour ago. All right. We saw three for a while ago. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's uh, not much, but... It's all right. You got your four fish. You need a 1.84. That's not too bad. Perfect. Thanks, Thank you. Well done. Hunter Water Sports in Belmont. If you're cruising through the area, that's the, the guy to stop by and see. Doug Baker's next from New South Wales. In the open, another four bag. How are you, sir? Yeah, very good, thanks. There you go. Four. There you go, four. That's good. That's a good sign. Basin in winter time. 1.90 kilos. Not too bad. Well done. Thanks. Well done. Perfect. Paul Davidson is next from Victoria. Scorn is showing two fish. That can't be right. Impossible. You always get fish. Consistently choked. Oh, you know. Good day in the water, though? Yeah, it wasn't bad. Caught a. Uh, Mixed bag of fish, but I really needed more brim. It's okay. 0.76 kilos. Well done. Thank you. You going to change things for tomorrow? Definitely. Definitely. All right. Who we got next? Tony Petty made the journey from Victoria. Also chasing those angle of the year points. He's currently fifth in angle of the year. You need 3.22 to take the lead. Yeah, I think I'll be a little bit short, but that one in won't help. Oh, that's a nice fish. Okay, that's a cracker of a fish. All right, let's see if we can get you in the top 10 and get as many points as you can. 2.94, I know you're going to weigh that one. All right, let's have a look here. You know the routine. You need 1.09 to tie or better to take over the atomic big brim. That's a cracker. Check him in there nice and gently. Let's see if it does it. Is he going to knock off 1.09? 1 1.41 kilos. We need to show that to some of the guys. We've got some people in Europe and also in the United States watching the live stream. Very nice fish. Look at that. Beautiful. Well done. Did you catch that early on or later on? About 9.30. 9.30. I bet you watch that in the live well most of the day. That's a crack of a fish. 1.41 is now the new Big Brim. That's the Atomic Big Brim. Just saying hello to Michael Starkey and all the guys at uh, Frogley's Offshore. Great contributor of the series and have been since 2009. Paul Hardyman is next from the ACT. Four fish. Paul, well done. There you go, man. Thanks, Steve. There you go. There's four. Beautiful. Good day, wasn't it? It was a good fun day, and uh, the weather was a hell of a lot better than we expected. Yeah, well, I kind of called it Tuesday. 1.69. Oh, well, that's better than I thought. Thanks, there you go. Steve. Well done. Perfect. Tim Olson, ACT. Two fish. 
We saw him early on, the th about 8 o'clock, 8.30 perhaps, and had one. And after that, it was a cast of thousands? Yeah, pretty much. Um, a few flathead uh, in between that, and that was about it. That's okay. Those two fish are going to come in at 0.99. Thank you very much. Cheers. Better luck tomorrow, and see you at 6 a.m. The line is finally starting to shorten down. It'll be interesting to see it. Kale Rottenberry is next. Now, this will be interesting. He's in the youth division, and currently that's Stephen Pryke at 2.64 kilos. You've got four fish. How are you, sir? Yeah, pretty good. That's a nice one, too. Yeah, it goes right. That's four is there. Let's have a look where we're at. Take the water in there. No, I can't do that. <laughs> 2.53 kilos. Steven, so you still want to weigh that big fish? Yep. Okay, let's have a look at this thing. I'll take the mic. You need 1.41 to knock off Tony. It's a good fish. One point two three kilos. Perfect. Not too bad. Second place in the big brim division. Not dropping. And that puts him second into the youth and that also puts him into eighth place in the open division. <laughs> Gary Hansen in the masters class at 60, 64 years of age. How are you? Good thanks Steve. Good day in the water. Can't complain when you got four. You can and also when you're a bit dry it makes it very yeah, pleasant. A lot better than yesterday. Yeah it was. Okay those four fish are 1.91 kilos. Thank well you. done. Again, we have Women's Youth Masters and Grand Masters Division is also the new one in the PA-17 Ts. Good day, wasn't it? Fantastic. Okay, let's have a look at what these are here. 1.10 kilo. Thank you. Thank you very much. Perfect. Who we got next, Jimbo? Cedric Lopez, first time angler. That gives the opportunity for these guys to come down and pay no entry fees and no association fees and come experience the tournament. Was it good? Yes. Good day in the water? Yes. It's pretty fun what we do, I think. Yeah, it's awesome. You'll be back? Yeah, for sure. Perfect. All right, let's see what this one's going to do. 0.56. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Puts you into second place in the first time division all the way through. Women's is still Tamika Purnell at 2.46, followed by Michelle Carmody at 1.26 in the women's. And Arthur Emmys, come on up, New South Wales. Got his complete angler shirt on from South Nara. And more importantly, the pro lure hat on. Well done. You read the script. Yeah, definitely. Good down the water? Yeah, it was actually. Um, All right. Got the bag pretty early. Just a mixture of stealth blades and um, the pro lure. Excellent. Here we go. 2.20 kilos. Nice. Fantastic. Thank you. Excellent. Well done. Put you in good stead for tomorrow. And the better half? <laughs> In the women's division, Lee, come on up. How are you? We saw you over there getting your fish. You were pretty excited. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Took me until like midday, so. But it's better than none at all. Yes. At least you come up here is. and see us on there. Point four four, not Thank too you. bad. Well done. Thank you. Two fish. Two fish. Oh, David, David, David. What are you doing? Uh, I went to the river and it doesn't work. So. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I bet you're not going there tomorrow. No, you're right. Okay. <laughs> the ones, the good ones, I got busted me. So. Oh. One point one zero. Well done. Thanks, Dave. See you on the tomorrow. Richard Summerton is still leading, 3.21 kilos. At, uh, second is Tony Petty, 2.94. Third place, Michael Walker at 2.92. Mark Young is next from New South Wales. Scoring is showing me three fish. How are you, mate? Hey, good. There you go. Get it all out. Drain some of the water. 
Perfect. Let's have a look. Those three fish are going to come in at 1.34. Not too bad for three. Thank you. Just need some big ones for tomorrow. Lex Court in the Masters Division. Four fish. Fantastic. I like to see these full bags. <laughs> Makes the day fairly enjoyable when you get four, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Did you catch more than four today? Yeah, I got two little upgrades, but they were only small upgrades. Okay. I was very happy with one to start with. Very good. Excellent. All right, let's see what that does in oh, this. Cool. Is 2.24 kilos. That's going to put you in the lead in the Masters Division. Fantastic. Uh, beat up Gary Hansen at 1.91 kilos. Glenn Allen is next for fish. Very, very consistent angler. Good to see you on stage again. Thank you. Not a bad bag for day one. Yeah, struggle to get them, but... <laughs> yeah, you got them. That's it. A little bit of work for tomorrow, but not that much work. Still in it very good. 2.05 kilos. I think if you had at least two kilos, you got a half a chance for tomorrow. Well done. Just, he's just going to check and see if we've got any bags. I'll just run through some of the things. Youth Division is Stephen Pryke from Victoria, 2.64. Second is 2.53 Kale. And third is Jack Gammy in the youth. In the first-time anglers is Connor Barrett at 1.68. And Cedric Lopez in second at 0.46. In the Women's Division, 2.46 kilos, Tamika Purnell. Second place, Michelle Carmody at 1.26. In the Masters Division, Lex Court at 2.26. 24 and second place Gary Hansen at 1.91. Any more bags, Jim? Okay, we'll just go through the recap of the top five and then we'll wrap it up for day. First place so far at day one, 3.21 kilos, a nice bag of fish, Richard Summerton from Victoria. Second place, 2.94 kilos, Tony Petty from Victoria. Third place is 2.92 kilos, Michael Walker from New South Wales. Fourth place, 2.84 kilos, Kane Terry from New South Wales. And ran out the top five on day one of this round seven, the pro round, is Warren Allen. Victoria is leading all the New South Wales guys in their home waters here. So, it's been a great day on the water. We've got a live stream from the start at 7 a.m. We also have the live weigh-in at 2.30 and at 2.45. Big round of applause for Totally Immersed Water Sports, the dealer in South Nara. Fantastic lunch this afternoon in the great morning packs. And also a big thank to Amy Berry, Sue Fields, Jim Berry, and uh, Swami Bob for being on the water. We'll see you tomorrow, and um, enjoy it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Tell them right now. Two, two. Um, totally Immersed Water Sports said if you guys are still hungry, there's a little bit more food, and it's going to help them... Uh, pack up a bit easier so by all means there's some great food there to be had thank you